Hi, I'm George Levy for Blockchain Institute of Technology. In this video, I answer one of the most frequently asked questions from the Blockchain and Bitcoin Fundamentals course. And that question is, what will happen to the Bitcoin miners once all 21 million Bitcoins have been mined? What then? In this video, I give you the answer. Stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to take you through the aspect of Bitcoin mining and the rewards they receive. Specifically, I'm going to focus on the 21 million Bitcoins, which is what Bitcoin miners do. They mine new Bitcoins while they are securing the network and processing transactions. When you really think about the role of the Bitcoin miner, they are basically securing the network. And for that, they get compensated. A big part of their compensation is gained by mining new Bitcoins. But in parallel, we've also spoken about the fact that there are only 21 million Bitcoins which will ever be able to exist. What that means is that there is a limited number of Bitcoins that can be mined, and at some point, there will be no more Bitcoins to be mined. I've spoken about this at length at Bits Online, and I created a video where we talk about specifically how where we are at 16.7 million Bitcoins at this moment, and we will eventually reach 21 million Bitcoins by the year 2140. Once we reach that limit, what happens then? That's the point that we're going to be covering in this video. To do that, I want to take you to blockexplorer.com, which is a public block explorer where you can really see what's going on inside the Bitcoin network. It keeps track of all the latest transactions of what you're seeing here, our latest transactions being added to the Bitcoin network. And it also keeps track of the latest blocks. What the Bitcoin miners do is they group these transactions and they assemble and create new blocks, which get added to the Bitcoin blockchain. In exchange for doing that, they get compensated and they receive a reward. To get deeper into this, I want to take you into one of these blocks, and I'm just going to choose block number 503363, which was mined by Slushpool. When I go inside, what you will see is that there were a total of 3,016 transactions, and for that, Slushpool received a block reward of 12.5 Bitcoins. We've spoken about the fact that currently the mining reward, which is new Bitcoins that are created every time a new block is added to the Bitcoin blockchain, is 12.5 Bitcoins. We've also spoken about the fact that eventually that will simply stop because we will reach 21 million Bitcoins. Therefore, there will be no more of these block rewards given to the miners. But a key element that you're not seeing in this page is the fact that this is not all the compensation that Slush Pool received for successfully creating this block. Let's look at a different viewpoint by going to btc.com. And if you go to btc.com, which is also a block explorer, and you look at this specific block, block number 503363, what you will find is a lot of the same information. There are 3,016 transactions, just as we stated here. We're looking at the same data. It was mined by Slush Pool. But one key thing I want to take you to is the fact of this transaction called the Coinbase transaction. And I talk about this at length in my Bitcoin Advanced Level Transactions course, where I describe the role of the Coinbase transaction because it's a very important transaction. You see, in this block, the way that Slush Pool gets compensated for creating this block is by including a transaction called the Coinbase transaction. And in that transaction is where the new Bitcoins, these 12.5 Bitcoins, are created. And Slush Pool was able to successfully reward themselves those 12.5 Bitcoins. However, as you can see, this Coinbase transaction has a total size of 18.18670023 Bitcoins, not just 12.5 Bitcoins. Where's the difference? Well, if you really do the calculation, what you're really seeing is that in addition to 12.5 Bitcoins, if you add 5.68670023 Bitcoins, you get to this 18.18670023 Bitcoins. And that's because this includes also all the transaction fees that were collected from all of these transactions that Slush Pool was able to include in this one block. What that means is that every single time that you do a Bitcoin transaction and you include a transaction fee, the miner that successfully adds your transaction to the to their block receives that transaction fee as well. So Slush Pool as compensation is not just receiving 12.5 new Bitcoins in this block, but they're also receiving all of the Bitcoins that are included as transaction fees for all of these transactions. That total, if you do the math, works out to about $84,000 just in transaction fees for creating this block and adding it to the Bitcoin blockchain.
and as the number of transactions increases as more and more people use Bitcoin globally that number of transaction fees will go up and that compensation portion will increase as well and that is how Bitcoin miners will continue to get compensated for creating new blocks and adding them to the Bitcoin blockchain once we reach the 21 million limit. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. If you have any questions, I encourage you to leave them below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel as Blockchain Institute of Technology publishes brand new videos every week on blockchain, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency. Until next time, I'm George Levy for Blockchain Institute of Technology. Thank you for watching.